Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Before we start this video, I just want to show you a couple of things that I've been doing to this car. Uh, it shouldn't be too long, so you guys enjoy. There's a couple of things that are replaced on this car and refreshed, so stay tuned. This is the old return hose on this car. It's pretty bad. It was cracked right there. And we have a new one installed right in here and clamp down. And then there's another uh, return hose that I need to replace. That I'll replace next time. It's actually all the way in the bottom. It's actually in the poor shape as well. It's that guy right there. So I'll have to replace that as well. It's pretty, it's also a short return hose. But this one is also was also pretty bad. So fluid is topped off as well. Everything is good. Everything got cleaned up over here. No more spillage. All good. And the door panel is all the way there. I took it out because I have to replace the regulator. And uh, someone's been here before for sure. Um because of the tape down here but I'm just glad this film is still in place and I'm gonna go ahead and replace this regulator right now it needs to be replaced all right here's the old original motor for the window I just have to swap the window motor itself the regulator is original as well here's the new one I got and it's already pre-lubed but I'll add a lot more grease to it anyways I just have to install this motor onto this new one new regulator and the problem with the old regulator is obviously just a broken piece right here i just decided to get a new one and that's it for right now and then okay i can keep this one and rebuild it um other than that everything is clean here that's what it looks like the window and obviously once i install everything back i'll I'll lubricate everything here and preserve it with fluid film grease all that good stuff original motor is transferred onto the new regulator ready to install and uh, i'll add more grease later new regulator is in place i also lubricated everything with fluid film and automatic trans fluid and this is all good to go amazing all bolted up good and then I lubricated everything and like I said, I'm gonna lift this window up. I already tested it, it's all good. Moves nice, moves nicely up and down. And as soon as I uh, lift it up, I'll just uh, spray everything with fluid film in here. And then also add some grease to the doorstop. And then yeah, I'll reinstall the film right here and everything else. Just needs a little more lubrication and that is it hey guys welcome back to Vito's garage and there's my amazing w126 420 SEL and today uh, I'll be replacing these uh, headlight bezels and I know a lot of you will tell me hey put euro headlights on it uh, yeah the euro headlights are cool but I also like these uh, American style headlights um, and I just don't like the way these uh, plastic bezels look so I bought brand new ones and I'll show you what I did to them and I don't know if I'll get to replacing both of them today I'll replace that side probably today because uh, what I what I'm doing actually is I bought brand new ones but I want to protect the brand new ones from cracking and from rock chips hitting them so what I did is on a new one one of them I still have to finish the other one but on a new one I put a uh, clear plastic over them that way they will uh, I hope that it will prevent that I hope that the clear plastic film will prevent these bezels from cracking in the future so that's what I did uh, I'm not gonna show you like exactly what I did or the procedures how I you know uh, was wrapping them because it was actually a pain it takes a lot of patience you know so I didn't do the best job but I still did I would say pretty well job <laughs> I just want to make sure that uh, these headlights or the bezels will get protected in the future. Now 
All right, guys, I apologize for any wind. It's super windy today. But this is uh, one of the new uh, headlight bezels. And this one is actually wrapped in clear film. And as you can see, it didn't do the best job. It was pretty difficult and, uh, you know, I was in a rush. But I wrapped most of it. And um, as you can see, it's going to be all nicely protected right now. And uh, it's amazing. I'm going to do a better job on the other um, bezel for sure as far as the wrapping of it. But uh, right now, like I said, guys, I'm just worried about, you know, making sure that this will not crack in the future. This will be protected. So we'll see. Hopefully this film works really good. And then this is another one that I still have to wrap. This is the film. This is literally like a 3M clear film. I really don't know. I'm not going to say anything about this film. I don't know how it... Uh, works how good it works it's just like a clear film to protect your plastic or any other surface so anyways today i'm gonna go ahead and install this bezel it goes on the passenger side i have to pop the hood and we're gonna go ahead and get this done This part sits right over here and is held on by a clip. You have to unscrew that clip. Looks like that. A lot of these are missing from cars, but this one is not, so it's nice. There's the part number. And then, right now, I'm gonna leave this as it is. And then there's clips. We have a clip right here. Not too hard and if you can't get to the bottom clip you can go from underneath there's access from underneath actually now i have to be really quick guys because it's raining i want to swap it out asap Make sure that this seal goes back on. All right, guys, so as you can see, this clip is in, all the clips are in. That one and the bottom clips are also in. Everything is amazing, ready to put everything back. All right, guys, there she is. Just wanted to talk to you quickly about this amazing machine. I did quite a bit of work since the last video, actually. As you can see, I have some new um, headlight bezels and everything. Uh, this car is looking really uh, good. Just uh, still have to buy a new uh, grill star, uh, hood star, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, there's still, you know, I haven't really done too much work on this car. You know, I haven't done really anything to the engine or transmission. It still needs help on that, still misfiring. Uh, that cylinder is still uh, not doing the best, but the car runs and drives and everything. The only thing is, like I said, the transmission has a problem, and I already knew about it pretty much, almost. <laughs> the transmission, the roof first gear is also acting up. Uh, however, all the forward gears are doing great. Everything is amazing. The car has 318,000 miles. The interior is amazing, great condition, everything. I uh, really, really love this car. Appreciate it. Um, this car is going to be getting all my love um, and but as of right now she's just going to be waiting um, for her next time but I'm really happy that I replaced those bezels and uh, it looks really really good on this car with brand new bezels uh, and uh, I also you know as you can see these wheels you guys saw them when I installed them I actually really uh, love these wheels um, and there's still some work that needs to be done to this car, guys. But otherwise, uh, it's a great machine, a lovely car, awesome. Um, I really don't know what to tell you, honestly. I actually topped off the transmission fluid and I replaced one of the power steering return hoses because it was leaking. I also topped it off. Uh, and everything else is doing well. It needs probably needs some suspension work as well. Uh, however, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, the brakes may need some attention, mostly the front ones. Other than that, everything is doing great. The car starts and runs. 
Uh, it has a little bit of high idle right now. I haven't had time to actually look into that since I'm working on a lot of other cars. However, you know, sooner or later I'll get to that for sure, guys. And there it is, amazing lovely machine. Um, I did wash them, but it needs another wash here soon. But um, other than that, I will probably make a video, I don't know when, maybe soon or maybe not soon. But I wanted to show you guys how to actually restore your uh, rear lens, especially the reverse lens. Because it likes to actually, uh, you know, get faded and yellow. Uh, I'm not actually too done with this one yet. However, it looks a lot better than that other one right there. Um, so I'm really, really digging the looks of this tail light already it looks so much so much nicer as of right now guys so i really really love this car and i'm gonna be giving it all the love in the future uh and i don't know as of the as of right now the plans are for this car um are as follows it's just gonna be sitting uh and waiting for me uh, and in the future, sometime in the future, we'll, I will figure out what to do with the transmission and the engine. Uh, I'll probably have to tear, tear the engine apart, but as of right now, the car uh, runs and drives. Oh, and also, I replaced the rear regulator right there, the window regulator, because it was, it was actually bad. Um, it was broken, so I replaced and installed brand new regulator on this car the right rear one um, and uh, yeah, just uh, put some love to it, uh, conditioned the interior and did some other work uh, not too much however this car is happy here's the amazing engine m116 4.2 liter v8 um, and as you know what i've done to this engine so far you know i pulled the valve cover uh, on that side just to make sure that the uh, oiler kits are fine and they were still okay uh, and just wanted to check the timing chain the timing chain is a little tired so we'll need the timing chain and guides you do those at the same time and uh what else did i do I did the oil and filter change the it has it's been so neglected you know the oil change hasn't been done for a long time the oil was really dirty and the filter as well uh, i put a new battery in there restored the battery uh tray and the area around it also was preserved with uh, wheel bearing grease and fluid film uh also this is what i did recently I replaced that uh Power steering return hose, it's brand new, topped it off with fluid, fresh fluid, also topped off the transmission because it was a little bit low. Uh, still needs quite a bit of work guys, um, and the engine still has that misfire, however I'll start it up for you and let you hear how it's running. It has a high idle, idle as of right now, uh, and I didn't get a chance to actually uh, go ahead and try to troubleshoot it, I was uh, so busy with a lot of other cars and customers cars that I had to fix but anyways everything else is uh, great on this car um, super happy with it uh, super beautiful machine um, and I really love these US spec headlights especially with these uh, brand new bezels they look just fantastic There's still so much work that needs to be done besides um, the engine and transmission, the antenna is broken, the sunroof is broken, a lot of other things. Suspension needs work, brakes uh, need to be checked in the front, uh, differential is leaking, I actually topped it off uh, maybe a couple of months ago. Uh, it needs some other work, but it's not too much. Uh, it's, you know, I already have done a lot of work to this car, but uh, it just needs 
a few more things besides the engine and transmission, otherwise it's a great machine. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below, share it with your friends. Thank you so much for all your support, it means a lot. And I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care, bye bye.